In this video, we're going to look at units of measurement in chemistry. More specifically, we're going to learn about SI units, derived units, and metric prefixes. It's important to know that all measurements will have a number and a unit. You would never say, I have three. Three of what? This always needs to be clarified. For example, if you had 70 kilograms of something, you would need to say, I have 70 kilograms, not, I have 70. The SI system, from the International System of Units, uses base units as the basis for all other units. The units are listed in the table and include kilogram for the mass, meters for length, seconds for time, kelvin for temperature, ampere for electrical current, moles for the amount of something, and candela for luminous intensity. You might notice that the base unit for mass is the only one with the metric prefix. When you combine one or more base units, you get the derived units, or units that are made from more than one base unit. You may be familiar with many of these, such as density, which is the mass divided by the volume, or velocity, which is the length or divided by the time. Uh, also, volume is a derived unit, which comes from length cubed. Uh, one important relationship is that one centimeter cubed is equivalent to one milliliter. The joule, which is a unit of energy, is equivalent to kilograms times meter squared over a second squared. There are a wide variety of metric prefixes that be can be added in front of either the base unit or the derived unit, as you can see from the table here. Uh, do you really need to know all these? Most likely no. In fact, if you're just beginning your chemistry journey, I recommend learning only the following. Kilo, centi, milli, micro, and nano. By placing the prefix in front of the base unit, that means you have a certain number of that base unit. For example, kilo means a thousand, or ten to the third power. Therefore, a kilo unit, such as a kilogram, means you have 1,000 grams. Instead of writing out kilogram, millisecond, or nanogram, or any other number of the possible combinations, uh, there are abbreviations. Uh, these can be abbreviated using the symbol for the prefix and the base unit, like we see here. And here are a few other examples. Uh, some other uh, relationships that you'll note are 1 kilogram is 1,000 meters, 10 second. 10 centiseconds is 0.01 second, and 345 micrograms is 0.000345 grams. And of course, there are a wide variety of other combinations, and eventually we'll learn how to convert from one unit to another. In this lesson, you learned about SI units, derived units, and metric prefixes. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and or feel free to message me. And thanks for watching.